Colby, the first question I want to ask you is, how did you get started in the field of sports information? So when I was a student here at CSU, I uh, started working for Wes Uffelman. He was the SID at the time when I was a, when I was a student. And so I started working at soccer games, you know, doing stats, announcing little things here and there, started writing articles um, and things of that nature, like stuff that SIDs do. And uh, started, I was like, yeah, I really like this. I enjoy it. This is fun. And then I started getting into like the graphic design stuff. And I was like, man, this stuff is this stuff is awesome. Like I really enjoy all that. And then um, through a series of events, Wes became the AD or the interim AD at the time. Um, and that was the same semester as my senior year, uh, the second semester of my senior year. So I was graduating. I had expressed interest in taking his position, and so uh, or taking the position he vacated when he became the AD, and so got started that way. I mean, I've, I've enjoyed it and I'm glad that Wes kind of took me under his wing when I was a student, kind of showed me the ropes a little bit. Uh, even as a student, he let me run like a game day, uh, gave me that real world experience. Like, what does it really entail? How much do you really have to remember? And um, yeah, I'm thankful for that. And I, I enjoy it. I love being a part of sports information. Uh, I love sports. I grew up around sports my entire life, playing hockey, basketball, baseball, football, uh, anything you can think of, I probably played it. So, um, yeah. So what's a typical day for you? Obviously, COVID has changed everything, but what's a typical day for you when you're in season? Um, uh, depends on whether it's a game day or not. Um, if there is a game day, uh, you know, spend the morning kind of prepping. Um, I try and schedule my game day posts for Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook ahead of time. That way I don't have to worry about that. But if I didn't do it, then I'll, you know, get those out. Um, get programs done and ready if I hadn't done that already. Um, and then two hours, three hours before somebody is going to arrive, be that the home team or the away team is going to be at the court, at the field, wherever it is. I usually show up, get all my stuff situated, test everything, make sure it all works because it's inevitable that something's not going to work. So it's, I felt, I feel it's best practice to get there real early to test things out, make sure everything works. Um, go through the game, uh, make sure nothing goes to crap. Uh, all the power stays on, all the computers stay on, all those scoreboards work, all the music works, everything works. And then when the game's done, um, wrap everything up, head back home, uh, take care of all the stats, put the stats on the back end of the website, um, you know, put, put them in the stat crew, write the article, post the article, uh, post photos, edit photos, um, edit videos, post videos, highlight videos of the game, um, all different things like that. On a, on a day where there's not a game, um, I'm usually prepping for if there is a game uh, for if, you know, there's probably one in a few days. Typically, that's how it works. Uh, there's usually a game within three or four days of, of any given day. Um, so just prepping, getting things ready, making sure I have student workers, making sure uh, officials are taken care of, making sure... Uh, game day, things are done, programs are done, um, things of that nature, just getting stuff ready and then tackling things as they come. I mean, I get requests for, I get requests for photos. I get, uh, you know, we have some CSAC things that we have to take care of. You know, we're working through the all academic team right now. Um, we have other random things that we need to work through, uh, interpreting stats, checking for milestones, um, all things like that, just things to make game day a smoother operation um, and to, uh, find things that we can enhance the overall uh, student athlete experience uh, via social media or the website, whichever, whichever we decide to use at that time. Um, just finding different things that we can do to enhance the, the overall experience for our student athletes. Kobe, what do you enjoy most about being an SID? Uh, the biggest thing is the students. I mean, I, I've said this before to other people, but we don't have a job if we don't have students. And so it's really our number one priority is our student athletes and making sure that they are the highlight of everything that we do. Um, everything that, that we put our energy into, we're putting it into for them. And we want them to have the best possible experience, especially at the D3 level. Um, I mean, we're a, we're a much smaller D3 school than some other D3 schools. And so we really have to go uh, above and beyond as an athletic staff to make sure that our student athletes are taken care of. Uh, that they're represented well, 
Um, and I just, I really enjoy working with uh, college age student athletes. People have asked me before, like, you know, would you ever consider going to high school, working at a high school or something like that? And I was like, I don't, I don't think I would. Um, I really enjoy the college student athletes and how they perceive life, uh, just building relationships with them. I mean, a number of our student athletes are also student workers for me. So I get to build personal relationships with them through, through that. And it's, I would definitely say it's the student athletes. They're the, they're the highlight of my day each day when I can, you know, when they score an amazing goal or when they have a, a great, uh, a great game, when they set a milestone, uh, anything like that. Like those are, those are really the big highlights. And when we can really allow our student athletes to shine, that's, that's the biggest thing for me. Well, finally, what are some of your favorite memories from your time at Clark Summit? Well, um, recently we had our first playoff game, hosted our first playoff game. That was really neat. Um, it was nice that it was before COVID. So it was kind of a, it was a cool atmosphere. It was one of the last times I remember us having fans at, at an event. So um, yeah, that was a really cool experience to be able to do that. Um, another big one was, and we came out on the wrong side of it, but a, a winner take all game against Rosemont uh, last year in men's soccer. That was really enjoyable to be a part of, even though, like I said, we came out on the wrong side of it, but those big moments, those big games, I mean, that's what athletes live for. That's what I lived for as, as, as a young athlete. And so be a, being able to watch our athletes go through those sorts of things and how they, how they navigate games like that and navigate emotions afterward and things like that is, that's a, that's really cool. Um, my first game day running it, I mean, it was a nightmare <laughs> in a lot of ways because there's a lot you don't realize you have to do until you're doing it. And you're like, oh, crap, there's quite a bit here. And so that was a good memory for me. Um, being a part of the staff is every day. I mean, the nonsense that happens amongst the four of us that are in here now, five of us that are in here, uh, we make memories all the time and fun stuff like that. So, yeah.